Within the software, you can set up what we call sequential numbering, a series of numbers or letters, so you don't have to copy and paste it on each label. Click on Data, Variables, New, and insert a file name. Maximum length is the physical number of characters you'd like. So for example, a thousand would be four characters, a hundred would be three characters, etc. For this example, I'm inserting four. Under the serialization tab, do not use a counter as selected. This means it will repeat the same of every label. Click on incremental counter. The software then will go up in number or letter, one, two, three, four. Decremental, it will then go backwards, 10, 9, 8, 7, etc. Usually, incremental counter is selected. Step is what it's going up in. So if this was twos, two, four, six, eight, 5, 10, 15, change it to this. Change value after the number of labels, how many of the same label it prints before it goes up to the next number. So basically how many copies? Two ones, two twos, two threes, etc. Under the data processing heading, in here, you could put in a prefix. L0001, L0002, L0003, etc. And, or you can insert a suffix. 0001A, 0002A. You don't have to put anything in here. It'll be four digits plus what's in here. Prompting, I normally type in enter start number. This is a visual prompt. So when you click on print, this message comes up. Click on OK, close. Down arrow next to text. Use existing variable. And there's the file name that we gave it, serial. Click on it, click on your label, and it will put in a four digit default number. Click on zoom to page. When you click on print, it will ask you for a starting number. If you insert one, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you require your zeros, you do have to type them in. Now, because we set the length to four, it won't let me put more than four physical numbers or letters in. Pages one, preview, and there will display your preview. When going back to print, you can start at whatever number you'd like to start at. We can also click on the down arrow next to barcode, use the existing variable, and insert the serial number as a barcode. This will automatically change the barcode with the sequence which we've typed it in.